Hi guys, first of all, uh, I want to give you a few uh, hints how I set up my Z9 to uh, reach very fast uh, different autofocus modes uh, <clears throat> with uh, the 70, uh, with the 24 to 70. It's uh, no problem because you always hold the camera like that to reach the autofocus button here. But if you have a longer lens like a 400 or a 600, you and I walk normally through the bushes and uh, have no tripod with me and I have to hold the heavy lens uh, down on the handle, you cannot reach that button. On the D5, D6 and um, the Z9, you can put, if the camera is in photo mode, you see it? Is it sharp? If the camera is in photo mode, uh, you can you can put the the function of this button here of the of the autofocus switch uh, button up to the movie record button because because uh, the camera treats uh, this button differently if the switch is set to stills or if the switch is set to filming. And uh, for that I configured it like so, then I can just go with the finger on the movie button and change the autofocus mode here with the front dial AFS, AFC and with the back dial the different modes. By default I have set uh, the mode to 3D uh, because uh, then I always have access by the joystick to position my, uh, my, my starting point of the 3D function. And uh, I have programmed in, Chris, can you show you that, in uh, menu, menu, controls, then the custom control settings for shooting, it's, uh, what is it, F2, yes, F2. And there I have set the AF on, on button to AF area mode. That means uh, if I'm in a hurry or want to track birds in flight, I just press the AF on button and you see the, 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 little, um, the little square in the middle is uh, vanishing. I just press the AF on button and I have, I have auto area mode. And as soon as I press the shutter button halfways, the A function jumps in. You can also configure that like so, that as soon as you press the A phone button, the autofocus jumps in, but I want to control that with my, uh, with my index finger. So, first of all for that, why do I explain this? Um, I could do some comparisons uh, against the Sony a1 and um, uh, with their lenses and um, honestly <laughs> I must confess the subject detection of the Z9 is yet not there uh, where it is on the A1. Uh, I give you an example what I'm talking about. I must of course mention it is uh, complaining at very high level because the camera is fantastic no doubt about it. But there are some situations uh, when the subject detection of the Z9 does not kick in and that it's normally if, it, if something is between the lens and the subject. So if you have uh, uh, small branches in front of a bird, the bird is not detected. You have to use uh, the 3D autofocus mode where you can set the point, recompose, however you do it, or you must be able to fast switch, that's what, that's what I'm doing here, uh, to a single point, the, then I, uh, I focus the bird uh, like you did it with uh, DSLR ca cameras, and uh, just uh, you have the, the, the advantage of the Z9 is of course, you can uh, set the focus point almost to each position on the sensor where uh, on the on a DSLR on a full frame DSLR you have only this small 
autofocus field in the center of the sensor or of the image. And uh, for that, especially if you have long lenses, you cannot reach that button. And for that, I have been programming this button here, bang, bang, and I'm back to 3D. Okay, so I will show you a typical example where the subject detection does not kick in, but I'm pretty sure uh, this will be fixed in uh, upcoming uh, firmware updates. I always compare it with my Z7, Z7 1, uh, where the uh, firmware upgrade from 3.31 to 3.40 literally, literally made a new camera of the Z7. It completely uh, boosted the autofocus capabilities of the Z7. And uh, if similar things uh, are to expect um, for the Z9 and the subject detection capabilities, uh, this will become a great camera. What I like uh, very much on the Z9 is, of course, you can uh, film ProRes directly to the cards and do not need an external recorder. So in this case, uh, the Z9 has uh, advantages over the A1, uh, where you have to film in H265. And uh, I prefer, of course, the ProRes, which is kind of raw format for filming. Uh, so let's watch some images. Okay, uh, this is a full frame image and uh, has here some branches in between. Uh, this is shot on the Z9. Uh, the settings have been auto area with the uh, white L and um, the subject detection has been set to animals, not to automatic. And just because of these branches here, the subject detection here is completely struggling. I have unfortunately no recordings of, uh, of the A1 and also not of the Z9 because I don't have recorders like uh, Ninja 5 or similar. And uh, you must believe me, on the A1, this bird is detected immediately. The eye, detec the, the eye detection of the A1 jumps straight to the eye and keeps it in focus, independent how the bird is moving around, even behind branches and coming back. It's far superior on the, F, uh, on the A1 than on the Z9. And, uh, but I'm pretty sure, or I hope at least, uh, Nikon will fix this in uh, future firmware updates. Um, so, the moment I release my... That's why I explained right before how I had my autofocus setting. The moment I release my thumb from the, from the AF on, on uh, here it was set to wide L and not to uh, total auto area. As soon as I release my thumb, I jump back to 3D focus detection. And um, jumping back, you just see it starts to focusing on the eye, but it's not 100% um, there where it should be. And um, as soon as I press the button again and I go back to um, wide L uh, autofocus, Within one frame, the, 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 cam the Z9 is losing the subject detection. And um, that's what for bird photographers would be the biggest advantage, or is the biggest advantage on the A1. As soon the bird makes some um, movements and you see, okay, now the bird is starting and flying away, you can only follow if you have uh, auto area, auto focus in AFC, where the subject detection works over the whole field to keep that bird flying away in focus on the A1. You can do it on the Z9 at the moment, not. Um, I have been doing some analysis uh, of the files with the EXIF tool 
and discovered uh, something quite interesting. I wrote uh, that small script here for e in blah 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 and uh, by using the EXIF tool I have been examining the NEF files itself and uh, it's quite interesting there is a entry face detect AF and on all of the files this is switched off no matter uh, what autofocus settings I have dealt in and uh, maybe that's the cause of the problem maybe it's just the wrong entry in the EXIF data that's up to Nikon to analyze that but that might be an explanation uh, why there have been a drop between firmware 1.0 I shot this camera in 1.0, 1.10 and 1.11 and the uh, worst uh, detection rate is uh, since uh, 1.11 is installed the programmers messed with something I don't know and uh, Nikon maybe you might check this please because also on images like that you just must imagine this bird is maybe six meters distance from away from me five six a little bit longer than the minimum focusing distance of the 600 millimeter lenses um, the 1.4 TC E3 is installed and if you get bird in this size it's about I can tell um, six meters uh, let me check this up because maybe I can grab some uh, results with the EXIF tool a little bit later okay that's kind of interesting uh, I've been analyzing this image uh, where I have uh, focus correct uh, because I have been focusing this uh, with the 3D autofocus and setting the point to the eye manually but for that I do not need a set 9 that's same thing I can also do with the D850 or the D6 um, and uh, let's go back to the terminal and uh, that's just quite interesting uh, if you if I analyze this NEF I get here of course the face detect AF is off but I assume that might be also wrong information the focal length of 840 millimeter is uh, calculated wrong in all camera bodies uh, I have the D6, the D850, the Z9 because uh, 600 millimeter multiplied by 1.4 results in 840 millimeters and not in 850 millimeters I don't know why this is not fixed uh, then here the okay I already said face detect is also off no the hyperfocal distance um, is 4293.97 meters this is obviously totally wrong because um, it's uh, six meters or something like that distance and uh, and uh, on f4 respe respectively because of the 1.4 teleconvert it's 5.6 and um, now the interesting thing the subject distance distance range is not shown here I have no clue why before it it's getting too confusing here on YouTube. I will contact Nikon directly and send them the link to this video. Uh, maybe it helps uh, them for analyzing what's going on and why the subject detection is not kicking in on situations uh, like that. And, um, and the 3D autofocus is needed or the single point autofocus is needed because it does definitely not kick in. Um, soon as you use auto area RF or um, auto area R uh, AF in a white L, white S uh, mode, it's resulting in something like this, and that's kind of no go in comparison to the R6, R5, R3 of Canon, as well as um, the A1 and A9, respectively, A92 of Sony, which on all the competitors the subject de detection and IAF jumps straight on the eye in situations like that 
Okie dokie. Let's because <laughs> as I already said, because this gets too confusing. I finished this video for today. Have fun watching it if you like it, and it uh, gives you some information you could need. Please uh, like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, click also the bell. It helps me to produce more um, stuff like that. No one is really interested in. Bye, guys.